Hi, and welcome back to Tales Along El Camino Sierra. Here we are at the Washoe Valley, located sublimely alongside the Sierra Nevada Mountains and majestic Lake Tahoe, and the mineral-rich Virginia Range, home to historic Virginia City. Like most areas here in the Eastern Sierra, this area runs rich and deep with history. And today we're gonna present some almost unbelievable history. Hope you enjoy today's tale. This tale of Eastern Sierra history is episode 16, Moving Water. We're gonna travel a little ways out of our Inyo Mono region to tell a tale along El Camino Sierra that took place in the land of Tahoe and Washoe. Growing up in Southern California, I remember fondly how our Sunday night ritual was always to gather in front of our RCA Victor television clutching a comforting mug of hot Ovaltine while my dad would bring out a giant bowl of buttered up popcorn to watch another episode of Bonanza, in living color, of course. I was pretty good at geography as a kid, and I used to be perplexed how Pa and the boys could commute so quickly between their beloved Ponderosa Ranch at Lake Tahoe to the bustling metropolis of Virginia City. It was probably 50 miles or more by horse trail, and it seemed the Cartwrights would make the trip in about 15 minutes. But Pa, Adam, Haas, and Little Joe aren't the only things that have tied Lake Tahoe to Virginia City so closely over the years. In 1871, Virginia City had become the largest mining camp the U.S. had ever known. The 25,000 inhabitants were causing the Comstock's flimsy infrastructure to literally burst at the seams. Water in the barren Virginia range was scarce, and unless a new source was found, the town's economic potential could not be reached. Water system engineer Herman Schussler was hired by the local water company to bring more water to Virginia City. Schussler set his eyes on Marlett Lake, situated high on the crest of the Sierra Nevada Mountains above Lake Tahoe. Schussler designed an inverted siphon system that would bring water from 7,800 feet down to the 5,000-foot floor of the Washoe Valley and then back up almost 2,000 feet over the Virginia Range to Virginia City. The 22 miles of pipeline and 46 miles of flume moved 6 million gallons a day entirely by siphon and gravity with no pumps. Mankind's long-held desire to strike it rich has led to the birth of some pretty amazing feats over the centuries. Huh. Moving water from mountain lakes and streams. Far away so a town in the desert could continue to grow. Who would have thought of something so outlandish? Oh well, little Joe says don't touch that dial and tune in next time to hear another exciting tale along El Camino Sierra. Okay, that tale along El Camino Sierra was titled Moving Waters. What an incredible story. Who would have thought of such a thing? Moving water from high up in the mountains all the way across this valley over here to some desert mountains just so a town in the desert could get rich and prosper. Incredible story. Remember, we upload a new Tale Along El Camino Sierra to this YouTube channel every Thursday. And if you enjoy our tales, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.